Marnie's throwing such a big hissy fit because at the end of the day, she knows she's guilty and she's been caught out. Casey and Becky, you're off on a date to get cosy and creative. So the date with Becky last night went really well. She told me a lot of stuff about Marnie and Curtis. Fill me in, Becky. Her and Curtis are quite touchy-feely. Like last night on the sofa, she was like sat in between his legs and they were like cuddling, laying down. When Marnie and Marcel come back from the beach yesterday and told me that it was Marnie's ex Casey coming in, it was a bit of a bummer, but I was half expecting it. Basically, Casey turned up and he was fucking furious about the whole Curtis thing. Then Marcel just decided to make it 10 times worse. People say one thing to me and then do a complete other. Like, Marcel told us he was going to, like, have me back and he was happy that us three were going to the beach together. I've said that I think they've got chemistry. I've said that to you. But why would you want to say that? that Someone went upset. Oh, right. It's funny how as soon as Marnie's ex turns up on the scene, she starts turning into a completely different person. Let me talk. I've said that you said... Just let me talk. Man. Just let me fucking what talk. Fucking time, man! I roll safe, then. <laughs> Marnie's throwing such a big hissy fit because at the end of the day, she knows she's guilty and she's been caught out. Casey comes in the villa and at the end of the day, he seems like quite a genuine lad. And I think he's been fucked over and mugged off more than I have in the situation. Casey just says, what did I say? And I said that they've been very touchy-feely because she was. On a date, if you don't mind me saying, Becky, yeah, no, like, Becky's saying I oh, you're in between Curtis's legs last night and shit. What? Marley literally starts calling me a snake and she walks up to me and then just throws a drink over me. Why the fuck would you get both men? So Marnie throws a drink over me and literally my eyes are fucking stinging. And to be fair, it's pretty lucky she got pulled away because I literally would have gone in. I feel like the best way to deal with Marnie when she's going to swill someone with a drink is just fucking grab her and take her as far away as possible. And that's what I've done. I do think that Swill and Becky was probably out of order, but I do have a tendency to do that for some reason. I've always got a drink in my hand. I will happily apologise for swilling her. I will not be acknowledging her existence. I felt like all the screaming from Marnie is that she was actually upset that I was going to fuck her off and I felt like she did feel a little bit guilty about it all. So I think that's why she was screaming and kicking off, but I could tell that she really does have feelings for me and she's pretty much obsessed with me. I'm not bothered by this, right? I'm really not bothered. No-one's bothered by you anymore. You, we, you, we've seen your little tantrum. This, You're, boring. You're boring. You're boring. You're boring. I think things with me and Marnie now are completely done. I couldn't get a word in edgeways because Marnie's a little sport brat. She has to shout over everyone to get a fucking point in. Sorry, sorry, can't hear you. Sorry. Ah, oh, predictable! I feel like Curtis is being very bitter about the situation. He hasn't even said hi to me today, but I don't really want to speak to him, if I'm honest. I'm not going to gun you about it anymore, right? But I'm not going to... Obviously, I want to be with Casey. I do generally love him a bit. I just want to be with him. I felt like Marnie was pretty honest with Curtis and just basically cut it off there. Now it gives me the green light to go ahead and me and Marnie can take it to the next level. I feel sorry for Casey and Curtis in the situation because Marnie was playing Curtis a little bit really and you didn't need to kiss the guy. Casey's been fucked over more than any of us to be honest. I mean at the end of the day he's saying that they were still together on the outside. It's just a fucking mockery of a relationship really. She's bed hopping, jumping in my bed the other night, kissing me under the covers. She's the one fucking instigating it as well. Pfft, what a tramp. I really just hope that me and Casey can progress be together, be happy. Obviously, it's going to be hard in here with all these fucking idiots, but I'm hoping that we're strong enough to get through it, and I hope we'll last. <laughs>